Loshin is a healing island in the Adriatic that attracted European royalty with its medicinal plants, captivating pine forests, crystal clear sea and great beaches. Today, Loshin is known as island of vitality and a safe haven from stress. But Loshin is also a popular summer destination with great hotels, charming old towns and some of the best campgrounds on the entire Croatian coast. Hi guys, my name is Rock and I'm a tour guide and I can't wait to show you things to do and best beaches on Loshin Island, Croatia. Medicinal effects of the island's climate were scientifically validated at the end of the 19th century when the island was part of the Austrian Empire. Loshin was officially declared a winter health resort. Soon it became a fashionable resort of the aristocracy and business elite. Arrival of Habsburg royal family, including the Austrian emperor Franz Joseph himself, started the golden age of local tourism. But long before the Austrians, this is where town life on the island started. Valley Loshin was the first major settlement that developed around its naturally protected harbor. When Venetians took control of the island, they built a round defensive stone tower in order to defend the harbor from the pirate raids. This relatively low tower from the 1400s has thick walls to endure cannon fire. After Austrians took over the island in the late 1700s, the tower lost its military significance. Nowadays, it serves as a museum and you can climb to the top. Charming old harbor full of fishing boats is still the heart of the town. This main meeting place is surrounded by old houses with colorful shops, inviting bars and delicious restaurants. And right above the harbor, it's hard to miss the pink parish church of St. Anthony the Abbot. Previously, two smaller churches were built on the site, while the current church dates to the 1700s. It was founded by local sailors and protects a nice baroque interior with paintings of Italian masters. From the church leads a beautiful pedestrian path following the coastline. It offers beautiful views of the bay and leads to a small chapel. After passing the chapel, you can see rocky and concrete beaches and for some of them, the glory days are just a distant memory. But to get to much nicer beach, you'll only need to walk for about 10 minutes along the coast. In the neighboring bay is a small fishing harbor of Rovenska. Small marina is lined with charming colorful houses with seafront restaurants. Here you will also find a beautiful, partly concrete, partly pebble beach offering plenty of shade, a bar and water sports equipment for rent. The beach ends with a distinctive long breakwater that protects the beach and marina. Veli Loshin is the second biggest town with about 1000 residents, although its name suggests it was once the biggest as Veli translates to big. But just about 3.5 kilometers or 2 miles away is a town of Mali Loshin with about 6000 residents, although Mali translates to small. The two towns are connected by this beautiful 3 kilometer or 1.8 mile paved footpath along the coastline. This promenade offers beautiful sea views and wonderful scents of 1200 species of plants providing natural aromatherapy. Pedestrian promenade with century-old pine trees is about 10,000 steps long, which is a number of steps a person should make each day. Along the way, you will find signs with instructions on how to raise awareness of posture, breathing and circulation and perform targeted exercises. Eventually, the promenade will take you to Mali Loshin, the main town of the island. Town sits in the largest bay of the archipelago and was an important shipbuilding center for sailboats as in the 1800s the town had 11 shipyards. With steamboats replacing sailboats, shipbuilding started to decline. At the same time, health benefits of the island's climate were discovered and Mali Loshin quickly transformed to tourism. Waterfront, known as Riva, around the long natural harbor remains to be the most popular area of town. A string of imposing 19th century sea captain's houses lines the seafront. They house restaurants, bars, ice cream places and lovely shops. The harbor ends with a triangular shaped square that opens up to the sea and serves as the main meeting point where all major events take place. Along the charming harbor waterfront is also a unique museum entirely dedicated to only one exhibit, 
the bronze statue of a Greek athlete, the Apoxiomenos. Ancient Greek statue was discovered in the sea by a Belgian tourist at the depth of 45 meters, where it spent nearly two millennia. Museum offers an interesting experience and shows almost perfectly preserved statue and tells the story of the athlete. On a small hill in the center of the town stands the parish church of Our Lady. Three-nave church with a Venetian-style bell tower was built in the 1700s and houses some notable artworks. Unfortunately, church is usually only open during the service. Not far from the town of Maliloshin, on the other side of the hill, is Chikad Bay. This large green area is famous for its pine forests and beautiful pedestrian pathways following the coastline. Here are the best hotels, campgrounds and beaches on the island. Chikad started to develop in the late 19th century when Loshin was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The area was recognized as a healing resort due to its specific microclimate and it attracted wealthy Vienna and Budapest elite. Aristocracy and successful businessmen started to build beautiful villas, summer houses and luxurious hotels around the bay. If you take a walk around Chikad Bay Promenade, you will still sense the luxurious atmosphere from the Austro-Hungarian period. Historic villas are now part of elegant five-star hotels. Along the coast of Chikat area runs a beautiful pedestrian path called the Paths of Loshin Captains that goes all the way back to Mali Loshin. The path is shaded by pine forest and offers beautiful sea views. It connects different hotels, coves and beaches and on its southern side you can find one of the most beautiful beaches on the island. It is called Velijal and is located in Sunchana Kav. This beautiful pebble beach is awarded with a blue flag, the International Certification of High Quality Beaches. Next to the beach is a hotel that provides many facilities, a bar and a restaurant. Towards the north, the path takes you around Chicot Bay. Here are some of the finest hotels and many bars and restaurants. You will have no problem renting a boat, kayak, stand up pedal boat or a catamaran sailboat. In one of the coves is a small sandy beach. Further north, along the promenade, you will come across another beautiful cove known as Srebrna Uvala. It has partly rocky and partly pebble beaches and above it spreads a large camp chikat that provides amenities like showers, children's playgrounds, bars and restaurants. Camp is also famous for its aqua park, a large seawater water park with pools, water ramps, a castle in the shape of a sailing ship, large open water slide and tube slides. The campsite guests have free entry, while outside guests must buy daily tickets. Even further up the shaded path is Zlatna Uvala. This is a bit more secluded and remote cove with no manatees, but with a nice pebble beach and thick pine forest. Further north from Zlatna Uvala, the path reaches the Cape of Boca Falsa with a narrow strait between Loshin and a small islet. Here the path turns southeast along the coast and in about 30 minutes of stroll takes you back to Mali Loshin. Loshin is also a perfect island for hiking and cycling as it offers hundreds of kilometers of trails and mountain peaks with gorgeous views. Mali Loshin Harbor is also the best starting point for boat trips around the surrounding archipelago with beautiful nearby islands like Susak, Ilovik, Sarkane and others that offer beautiful places and amazing beaches. But they will have to wait until the next time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a super thanks to help me create my future travel videos and let me know where I should travel next. Thanks for your support and for watching and see you next time.